So he wants you to get complacent. That's Pastor. Right. That's right. Wants you to get comfortable. Mm -hmm. He wants you to not watch and pray like you used to because now you've been converted. Mm -hmm. Now that stuff can't touch you no more because you've been planted in God. Mm -hmm. But he comes in a season after God has blessed you. Mm -hmm. And after God has established you in some way or another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Then, he waits. And he waits. Mm -hmm. Like the Bible says, he's like a roaring lion. That's right. mm -hmm. But not only does he roar, mm -hmm. but the Bible described him as a lion because he waits. To pounce. That's right. He's waiting for the perfect opportunity. How can I get them? Mm -hmm. That's right. And so now, the enemy wants to introduce you to the spirit of adultery. Mm -hmm. The spirit. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, man of God? See, see, help me with this Holy Ghost. Help me with this God. 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 See. The, 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 the terminology or the definition of adultery, it means for one that is married mm -hmm. to have sexual intercourse right. with someone that is not mm -hmm. theirs. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about the spirit now. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. And so now you've been walking with God and you've been following God and you've been you 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 learn how to pray you learn how to fast you learn how to obey him you learn how to hear his voice but now proverbs 27 and 20 means something different to me now it's not just oh an example of the flesh of man it's no longer in my understanding, in my cognizance, in my spirit about, oh, you can be in a relationship with somebody and still, and you might be in love with them. But you see somebody else walking down the street, you can still acknowledge. I'm not talking about lust either, but you can still acknowledge, oh, that's a handsome, that's a handsome young man. Oh, that's a pretty lady. The Bible says the eyes of man are never satisfied. But let's look at that in the spirit. The enemy... Is waiting on an opportunity after the Lord has established you, after the Lord has blessed you, after you become settled in God. He's waiting on an opportunity to give you another choice. Do y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. The eyes of man are never satisfied, and God and, and, and Satan knows this. So he waits until you get settled into your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. He waits until God then took care of you for so long. And provided for you for so long. And done so much for you for so long. That you think that this is automatic. Because your husband. But in this case he's your fiance. Because ain't none of us made it to that mark yet. Yes. But he's your living lover. Pays your bills. Take care of you. Make sure you got food to eat. Get your hair fixed. Your nails done. All of this stuff. Got you a car to drive. Put gas in your car. He do all of this for you. That's right. But now. The eyes of man are never satisfied. So here come the enemy trying to creep in and offer you something that's not yours. Mm. Oh my God. He trying to mess you up. Yes. Because now you've been in God for so long. You look around and you see what he's done. And you think that this is automatic. You think that the peace that God has brought into your home, oh, it has to be that way. You think that the God give you a clean house and a, and a nice place to stay and a peace of mind and you ain't got to deal with the foolishness and, and all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. all right. Now you done got comfortable. Mm -hmm. So God, the enemy creeps in to give you something else. Mm -hmm. He wants to usher you into adultery. Mm -hmm. He wants you to cheat on your father. He wants you to cheat on your fiance. He wants you to cheat on God. Mm. That's right. Because now you're comfortable. That's 
Now I've been with God for so long that I just think it got to be like this. I just think that God got to give me a nice place like this. It's just automatic now that God pays my bills. It's just automatic now that God takes care of me and I live like the, I live the life how I live it in a comfortable way. So now here come the devil. Here come the devil. But he waits until you get settled in God. He waits till you get blessed in God. And then he tries to come and bring you some stuff mm -hmm. that you familiar with. Uh -huh. ah, my, my, my. Glory to God. He wants you to think. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to tell y'all. I'm about to blow y'all mind. Not with what I'm about to say right now, but what I'm going to say after that. Praise God. Mm -hmm. See, when you are really in God, it don't matter what people think. Mm -hmm. true. See, the Bible says... That the fear of the Lord mm -hmm. is the beginning of wisdom. Yes. I'm going somewhere with that. Yes. And God is giving. See, I told y'all a long time ago, having the Holy Ghost don't mean that you can't go and do it. That's right. It mm -hmm. just means you don't want to. Do. And right. so I thank God that a long time ago, brought, God brought me from the place of just the beginning of wisdom. What do you mean by that, Pastor Dion? I, what I mean by that is, is that a long time ago, God brought me from the beginning of wisdom to wisdom. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is this, is that a long time ago, I been, came from the place, glory to God, of, 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 of oh, I know right from wrong. I still want to do some wrong, but I ain't going to do it because I fear God. No, 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 no. God has been took me from that place. God has been took me to a place that I don't want to just live right because I'm scared what God going to do to me. I want to live right because I love him That's yes. and because I want to please him. Yes. Right. Oh, my God. Do y'all hear me? And so what I have noticed, and Pastor Vera, two weeks ago, you seen me in here praying. Mm -hmm. And you saw me sitting right there, and I began to call some stuff out. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, I began to call some things out, and I said that I see the devil for who he is. Yeah. And how the enemy is trying to take me back to my past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. But I didn't even know then on the level that I understand it now. Yeah. And so now, the past couple of weeks, the enemy been trying to creep back into my mind, in my soul somewhere, some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Wants me to go back and pick up drugs, but he a liar. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Y'all better hear God. You better hear me because, and then I begin to wonder, where is this coming from, God? You been brought me from the place of, of struggling with, or oh, my flesh want to do it, but I ain't going to do it because I fear God. No, 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 no. God been took me from there. He been elevated me, and I'm not talking about no pastor and elder. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in my walk. Yeah, he been yeah, elevated me to the place yeah. that I live right because I want to live right. right. Yes. Because I want to please him, not because I'm afraid of what he's going to do to me if I do wrong. Yes. And that place is okay too if you ain't got to the other. Because that's the beginning of your wisdom. That's right. Yes. He might not have cleaned you up enough just yet. For you to, he may not have shown you his love enough just yet that you got into the point. That you live and walk right and keep your hands clean because you choose to. Because this is your offering of love towards him. Yes. But even if you're still at the place of the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Lord, whatever you do, just leave my beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Because if you leave my beginning of wisdom, mm -hmm. then Lord, I fear you long enough. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Lord, have mercy. To get me back to where I'm supposed to be. Yes. But I thank you. I thank him. And so now I begin to ask God, where is this coming from? And the truth be told, I likened it unto a friend of mine who shared with me, who shall remain nameless, who shared with me an experience with drugs. The very drug that God brought me out of. And I waited until I got into the spirit because I can't do nothing in the natural. Mm -hmm. 
And I laid my hand on that young man in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I covered him. And then I began to say, and that wasn't not too long ago, and then I began to question and say, well, God, is that it? Is that where this coming from? Mm -hmm. But no. God has let me know. Son, y'all, I'm about to tell y'all something. And this is why my spirit is in a whole different place today. Because it blew my mind. This is what I mean when I say at some point. What God said about you has to develop. Yeah. Pastor Vera, Pastor Shirley, we're not going to always be in the place of one day it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. We're closer than you know. We're closer than you think. And so anyway, what I'm saying is this. For those that are believers... When your time comes, hey, that boy, shot. When your time comes, yes, the enemy has to tempt you with something. Yes, right. and so the Lord let me know. No, it's not because you laid hands on him. You went, you operated in the spirit. Can't nothing come and touch you when you're in the spirit. Right. That's, right. Yes. That's not what this is about. Yes, no. This is about your season. That's yes. Right. Y'all better heal God. Yes. This is about your season. And this is the thing that blew my mind. God said to me, you, 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 the church has been given a name even after or based on this scripture. Matthew 4 and 4, Luke 4 and 4. Man, for it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, that's our foundational scripture. That's why we're called Soul Food International Ministries, because God feeds our souls. Yes. But guess what God said to me, y'all? He said to me, he said, you use that scripture. And that's a scripture I gave you. He said, but I want you to remember what was going on when Jesus said those words. He had to remind me that Jesus had just fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Mm -hmm. And why did Jesus do that? Because his ministry was just getting ready to begin. Mm -hmm. Y'all better hear God. Y'all better hear God. And the enemy had to come and tempt the Lord in some way or another. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said to me yesterday... Your ministry mm-hmm. is about to begin. God. Yeah. And that's why the enemy mm-hmm. is trying to bring that back up to stop you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Lord. And so I said to the Lord, I said, God, I can't, you can't, you, you cannot seriously be comparing my life to Jesus. And God said, it's okay. He said, because here, this is why it's okay. Because see, Jesus was on so much a greater level than you. That Satan had to come and offer him the whole kingdoms of the world. Yes. Right. He said, see, so no, you don't have to, you don't have to be feeling like some kind of way, like it's okay, like it's something wrong with you being compared to Jesus, because it's still on a whole nother degree. Because you're not nowhere near Jesus to the point that Satan will have to offer you the whole world to get you to fall to him. He said, he's just trying to trip you back up with drugs. Mm. Oh, y'all. Y'all better hear me. And so now. God says, and so I want you to see this. Jesus had already started performing miracles before his ministry began. Yes. Do you hear me? Jesus had not gotten to the point, according to my understanding, Jesus had not gotten to the point where he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. And then he entered into the, and I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me because I didn't get a chance to look at it. But I believe. That when Jesus turned the water into wine at, at, at the marriage ceremony, that that was before he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and then his ministry truly took off. Mm-hmm. So what am I saying by this? Son, how dear, how can you say that God is telling you that your ministry is beginning when you preached your first trial sermon over 20 something years ago? How is it that God is saying that your ministry is getting ready to begin now when you've been when you've been preaching for years and, and you've been ordained for the last uh, 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 
three, almost four, year, almost four years, and you've been pastoring for a year, a founding pastor. What do you mean your ministry is just beginning? That, in other words, that means that, oh my God, and this is the part that blew my mind, mama. He said to me, in layman's terms, everything else that you've accomplished and everything else that you've done from this point on, I, in other words, you have just stepped into the reason that I put you on the earth for. Wow. Now, your ministry, your true purpose, is getting ready to spring forth. You, you, y'all better hear me. God said that everything before now yeah, you're a pastor. Yeah, you're an elder. Yeah, you're a prophet. Yeah, all of this stuff. Yes, you've done some things. Yes, you spoke some stuff. Yes, I've used you. Yes, I brought my word through you. Yes, you've seen some stuff happen in your life. But everything that has happened in your life up until now, yes. he said, you're getting ready to enter into the very destiny and the very purpose that I put you here for. Lord. And now the enemy wants to give you an alternative. Yeah. Now the enemy wants to trip you up and make you think, oh my God. See, see, it's like, that's why I said we're going to bring God to the natural today. Mm-hmm. The eyes of man are never satisfied. So now my husband, my fiance, he pays my rent. He takes care of my light bill. Do all of this stuff for me. My living love. He makes sure that I'm taken care of. He makes sure that I got a peace of mind. He makes sure that I got a clean house to live in. But now we've gotten to a point that we've been together for so long. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all better hear me. We've been together for so long. That now we can get into the mindset. Oh, this just automatic. No. No, 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 no. Remember in the Bible. When the Bible says that the only legitimate reason that somebody has to divorce you. Is if you cheat on them. That's right. Yes. So if you be deceived and beguiled by the devil. Like the Bible says in 2 Corinthians the 11th chapter and the 3rd verse. If you let the devil deceive you, then guess what? God has a right to take his provision, his protection, and everything else from you because you cheated on him. Yes. Because you stepped outside of your commitment. You stepped outside of your vow. Mm -hmm. That's right. Lord, y'all. So I'm here to tell somebody. That when you get to the place that God is getting ready to enter you into the purpose Mm -hmm. for which he put you here. I'm not talking about the prerequisites. Mm -hmm. Jesus did a whole lot of stuff. The Bible says that if everything that Jesus had done Mm -hmm. was to be written down, the earth could not contain the books that they were being. So we don't know all of what Jesus did. Yes. But look the Bible says he have done enough that it would have the books of every single thing he had done would have filled up the earth. That's what the Bible says. Now, why did you say that, Pastor Dion? That is to say that he did a whole lot of wonderful things mm-hmm. all of his life. That's right. But it wasn't until the true purpose that he was born for yes. when the timing of his true purpose came. Mm-hmm. The devil stepped on the scene. Mm-hmm. And I'm here to tell somebody, when you get to the point, mm-hmm. when you get to your ordained time of yes. the Lord, yes. for you to step into the purpose oh, nice. that you were created for, the enemy is going to come and yes. tempt you with the spirit of adultery. Mm-hmm. Y'all better hear me. Oh, Jesus. Y'all better hear me. Jesus. Mm-hmm. He is going to tempt you To cheat on the one that takes care of you. He is going to tempt you. To cheat on the one that's been paying your bills. He going to tempt you. He he wants to give you another choice. Mm -hmm. 
like Eve. Did he really say you can eat from the tree? Uh -huh. yes. Why would God tell you that? Mm -hmm. You see all of this fruit. Now, what, right. that don't even make sense. Mm -hmm. Think about that, Eve. He why would he tell you that he gave you all of these different trees and all mm -hmm. of the fruit? That's and right. then tell you don't eat off the one that's right in the center? Mm -hmm. That don't make sense. Eve, you tripping. Play with our minds. That's right. Mm -hmm. He wants to tempt you with the spirit of adultery. Yes. So that, so that God can legally divorce you. The Bible says that when, 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 oh my God, help me, Holy Ghost. The Bible says that when Mary was found to be with child, that Joseph thought to put her away privately. That's right. mm -hmm. In other words, in other, oh my God, help me hold the ghost. In other words, it was legal that if he wanted to, he could have put her to death. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh my God, right there. I said something mm -hmm. that I didn't even realize. I was just saying, yeah. don't let God put us to death playing with the devil. That's right. Yes. Oh my That's God. That's the truth. The enemy wants to come and offer you something right. else. Mm. Y'all right. don't understand. Mm, mm, mm. Glory so God God. says to me, no, you haven't been feeling the past couple of weeks what you've been feeling because you let some spirit in. You haven't been feeling that because, because you've reverted back somewhere that I've already brought you from. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about the fact that I've already arrived in the place of being converted. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, once you have truly been converted, you don't want to go back. Mm -hmm. That's right. He mm -hmm. said, but what you've been feeling oh, God. over these past couple of weeks yeah. is the same thing that Satan tried to do to Jesus. It was almost like the last resort. Mm -hmm. It was a resort of desperation. I don't know how else to get him. So let me at least try mm -hmm. to get him with the last thing I had a hold of him with. Lord, y'all. Mm. I don't know if it's going to work. Because mm -hmm. I know he loved the Lord. Mm -hmm. But I don't see no other way in. Mm -hmm. So I got to at least try because he yeah. done tapped his destiny. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Mm. He didn't tap. I didn't mess around and let him live long enough mm -hmm. that he getting ready to enter into the very reason God Glory put him God. here. Y'all better hear me. Yes. I'm not playing Glory with y'all. Yes, and when oh my God. And when God said this to me, Lord. Mama. Has to come a time. It has to, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Has to come a time That's right. when it's not one day. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be a day that it comes to pass. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I don't know what God gonna do through me. Mm -hmm. But I know what the Lord is saying. Mm -hmm. The enemy out of desperation mm -hmm. has tried to come and stop you because now you at your moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now your ministry begins. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, in other words, now, 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 now. Mm -hmm. If you stay the course, mm -hmm. now. Yes. Everything that I put you here for is getting ready to come for. Yes, Lord. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Man shall not live by bread alone. It is written. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's what he had to tell the devil. Mm -hmm. That's what he had to tell the devil. Because right before then, after that, that's when all the miracles happened. 
After that, that's when the dead was raised. Yes. After that one, yeah. oh my God, that's when the ears came open and the yeah. eyes yeah. became yeah. open. Yeah. Glory to God. So I encourage somebody. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. When something come up on you and you know done well, you ain't let it in. Mm. And you know good and well, that ain't where your spirit sits. Mm. And you know you love God. It might just be that you have come to your hour of temptation. Yes. Because it's the very thing that has to come forth mm -hmm. before you are ushered into your purpose. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes. Jesus. Oh, my God. Do y'all hear me? Amen. Jesus. And it might look small mm -hmm. in the natural. That's right. But we done tapped into something big. Mm -mm. That's, that's the truth. Thank you, God. We done tapped into something big, y'all. Thank you, God. <laughs> God. I, I, I kid you not, that's what the Lord said. Thank you, God. He said, this is why. Mm -hmm. This is what you've been feeling. Mm -hmm. It's the devil's desperation. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the desperation, but God allowed it because it has to be that way. That's right. See, see. We say we want to be more like Jesus, but no, we got to let Jesus be Jesus in us. Yeah. He came not just to die for us, y'all. That's mm -hmm. right. He came to be an example of the way that we should take. Yes. And so being that he showed us that he was tempted in that way, before his true purpose of, he had lived for 30 years already before that. Mm -hmm. And he had turned water into wine. He had done all kinds of miracles and things even as a child that we don't even know about. That's right. mm -hmm. But after all of those great things, mm -hmm. it wasn't until then that he had stepped into the era or the season of time mm -hmm. of his life. Yes. That he was entering into the purpose in which he was created to come to the God. earth for. Jesus. And I don't know how long I have to live. My, my, my. But all I know is that I heard God. Yes. Let me know. Son, you getting ready to enter into why you were born. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, God. you getting ready to tap mm -hmm. the very reason oh, I birthed you. I yes. Mind. Oh, my oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. But you got to go through this. Yes. And it's not like it's. It's like, okay, all you got to do is resist the devil. That's right. And then now you done tapped into power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you done tapped into your purpose. Yeah. The Bible says it's simple. Resist him and he shall yeah. flee. That's right. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. For it is written. That's right. <laughs> it is written. What God said about you, Pastor Shirley, it's written. All you got to do is stay the course. Yeah. And sit on our boat shop and see it come to pass. Yes. It's written. Yes. The enemy know he can't change God's hand. Amen. And he sure can't change his mind. But if he can get you out of the will of God. Glory yes. God, stay yes. the course. Yes. Resist the devil and he will flee. Mm. Yes. And step into the purpose yeah. that God brought you here for. Yeah. It's only a matter of time. Yes. Listen, we are closer to our purpose than we've ever yes. been. Yes. Every single day you get up, yes. you closer. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Thank Thank you, to Lord. the purpose yes. that God birthed you into the earth right yes. now. Glory to God. The spirit of adultery. Yes. The spirit of adultery. Glory Beware. Jesus. Of the spirit of adultery. Yes. After you done got comfortable yes. and you've been walking with God for a long time. Yes. And he done showed you how good of a husband he is to yes. you. Pays yes. your bill. Looks after you. Get your hair fixed. Yes. Get your nails done. Make sure you got nice shoes and clothes on it. Yes. Do all of that stuff for you. Because let me tell you a secret. You might get up and go to work, but it's his strength that allows you yes. to do it. Yes. He paying your bills. Yes. He yes. Is. He doing it for you. Now the enemy wants to creep in yeah. and mess up your good thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because God has a legal right to walk out on you. That's 
He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. But he would have a legal right to walk out on you if you yes. cheat on him. Yes. The Bible says, I don't care if y'all disagree sometimes. That's not a good enough reason to divorce. I don't care. Glory to God. I'm paraphrasing. I don't care if they don't talk to you as much as you want them to talk to you. That's not a reason to a divorce. Mm. Oh, my God. But the moment you step outside of your commitment, I can pack up my bags and go. That's right. So the enemy wants you to step outside of your devotion to God, your yes. vow to God, your yes. commitment to the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So he can get you up off of under God's covering. Yes. So he can come in and kill you. That's right. Lord, have mercy. Hey, God, I'm the spirit of adultery. Beware. Yes. <laughs> Beware. Glory to God. Beware. Thank you, man. Beware. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Some of you may have... Come to that place. Yes, God. Some of you have yet to get there. Yes. But it's a serious thing when God tells you temptation has come upon you because you're getting ready to enter into your purpose. Jesus. Thank you. And I don't know what that looks like. Mm -hmm. But I will believe that is great. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> I believe it's great. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Now, I'm going to shift real quick. And I want to share something with y'all. What the Lord gave me during the fast. Let me stop and ask. Was there anybody that the Lord you felt led to go beyond that one day? Thank you, Jesus. I didn't share it with anyone else. But God gave you all that one day, but he gave me three. Glory to God. And on that Monday, it's so interesting because that Monday he spoke to me. And then Tuesday, I was looking for another powerful revelation experience with God. But Tuesday, he told me, he said, don't look for that. He said, everything I wanted you to know, I gave it to you Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday is just you walking out your obedience. Mm -hmm. Y'all. Mm -hmm. It's just obedience. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God will come and give you a checker. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, sometimes how you go get your car service and maintenance. Sometimes he'll just do things and give you certain instructions just for the sake of maintenancing your obedience. Mm -hmm. no, no, nothing else is connected to it other than making sure your obedience is still in line. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And so remember, oh wow, I didn't even see this connection. Remember when I told y'all, glory to God, that I had received the Holy Ghost way over here one time. And it was years later, after receiving the Holy Ghost, that I went through a season of drug addiction. And the Lord showed me this Monday. This was around 6 a.m. on Monday morning, October, I don't even know the date, so let's see, the 18th, the 18th. No, the one the 18th. Monday, Monday, 15th. It was the 15th. The 15th, that's it. So on Monday, October 15th, the Lord showed me this. He said, why some people have received the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. Thank you. but still practicing it. For some people, some you know, some people they just ain't got the Holy Ghost and they playing. Mm -hmm. But it's some people who actually got the real Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The real Holy Ghost came in. That's right. He said, but this is why some people have received the Holy Ghost and still practice sin. He said, because there is a shortage, or there is a word shortage. And then he gave me an example. 
not Pastor Vera, mm -hmm. I submit to you by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable, uh, reasonable service. The Lord says that's scripture. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Those are the words of Paul. But in order for your Holy Ghost to work right, you need the word of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in the beginning was the word. And the word was God and the word was with God. And then it goes on down and says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. That's right. And whatever he, the word of God says, Whatever he being the word of God, when that gets down into your spirit, mm -hmm. it's the word, not itself, it's the word himself mm -hmm. that causes your Holy Ghost mm -hmm. to work right. Mm -hmm. So the reason why a lot of people that may have the Holy Ghost, but they still practice the sin, because they got a lot of scripture. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of what thus said Paul. Oh, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But they don't have enough of what thus said the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's a difference. God yeah. said the word of the Lord and scripture is two different things. Yeah. I can find Joel and that scripture. That's not the word. Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Unless Joel is telling you what thus said the Lord, mm -hmm. then it's the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, please hear me. Mm -hmm. The word himself says, if any man will come after me, that's what the, me, the word of God, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me, the word of God. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. The Lord showed me these two examples. I received the Holy Ghost when I was 22. I went through drug addiction in my late 20s, maybe early 30s. And I want to use these same two examples. I knew then, present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. But that didn't keep me from doing drugs. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. But one day, when I really understood if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. The word of God fed my Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. So you can receive the Holy Ghost, but it takes the word being revealed in you for him, the Holy Ghost, to function within you properly. Mm-hmm. And in order for the word to be revealed, it must first be put in you. Mm -hmm. How can they heal without a preacher? Mm -hmm. How can they preach except they be sent? Mm -hmm. And so the Lord gave me this revelation. I'm not saying it quite as in depth as he gave it to me. But a lot of us, we're full of scripture. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the Bible is not one book. It is a collection of books that make up a book. Yeah. But we look at it as just, oh, everything in here just, oh. If we say, if, it's, if we ran in here somewhere, a cat ran over a dog, we're going to say that's the word of God. Some of this stuff is connected to the word of God. That's right. Because there's prophets, there's the law and the prophets. Moses gives you the law, which is the word of God, because he's telling you what God said. That's right. mm -hmm. The prophets, when they say, thus said the Lord, mm -hmm. it's the word of God because that's what God said. Mm -hmm. But so we find stuff in here and we get full of the scripture. Mm -hmm. We got so much scripture we can, we can quote. Mm -hmm. But if we're not honing in on what thus said the Lord in the scripture, then we're getting full on scripture, but we're not getting fed 
with the word. And it's when what thus said the Lord mm -hmm. hits you. Not just because Paul said something. Mm -hmm. But That's when right. what thus said the Lord right. yes. hits your Holy oh, Ghost. Wow. Yes. Your Holy Ghost Amen. is fed yes. and he works right in you. Glory yes. Lord have mercy. Mm. So that's, that's why some people got the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. but they fall on Paul. Mm -hmm. And they ain't got enough what thus said the Lord right. to make their Holy Ghost work right. Yes. Right. Jesus. The letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Everything in here is letter until you find thus said the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because as soon as you see thus said the Lord, it turns into Spirit. Yes. Because God is what? Spirit. Mm -hmm. God ain't bound to no pages. He's a spirit. That's right. And the moment you find the prophet that tell you what thus saith the Lord, you feeding that Holy Ghost. Right. You feeding your inner That's man. Right. I got something that my Holy Ghost can fight with. Yes. Glory. Not just finding what Paul said and Timothy yes. said and everybody else said. Yes. I'm looking at everybody else but Jesus. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Oh, Lord. Glory to God. So, yes, collectively, this is the word of God. I dare not say anything else. But I understand that what makes it the word of God is because the men who wrote it, they are telling you what God says. So it's my responsibility to pay attention to more of what thus said the Lord mm -hmm. than what thus said anybody else. Mm -hmm. And yes, there's some good stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Paul give you some good counsel. Yeah. But I don't want to feed myself with more Paul than I feed myself the word of God mm -hmm. that became flesh mm -hmm. and dwelt among us. Right. Because as soon as he gets in me, the word of God, mm -hmm. Not scripture, the word of God. Yes. My Holy Ghost is in power yes. to work the way it's supposed God's to work. Yes. Do y'all hear me? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost responds to the word. Yes. Do you know? <laughs> do you know that's why we got the Holy Ghost and we ain't performing miracles? Because we don't have enough word to make the miracles happen. Yeah. Glory to God. And we yes. got the Holy Ghost. Yes. We got to get some more word, y'all. We got to get some more thus said the Lord. Down on the inside of us. Yes. That's right. That's why I need to start paying a little bit more attention to what's in the red. Yes. Than what's in the black. Yes. Crossing my yes. mind. It just my mind. <laughs> because everything he's done, and he did it, not just to die. Mm -hmm. When he, when he, Pastor Vera, when he raised the dead, that didn't have nothing to do with him dying. He was showing you what you can do. That's right. Yes. And he was showing you the way that it takes in order to be able to do it. He was showing you not only I'm going to die for you. He was showing you this is the route to power. This is the route to doing what I do. Right. This is the route to you stepping into the realm of yes. these things and greater things than this shall you do when you do what I've done. That's right. Yes. That's the truth. So the Holy Ghost needs us to feed him the word of God. Yes. And then the Holy Ghost in you will move mountains for you. Because yes. yes. he, he has the word of God right. empowering. The Holy yes. Ghost is power all by itself. Yes. But in order for the Holy Ghost to fully function in you, yes. he needs the word of God in you yes. for him to function yes. right. Yes. Yes. Y'all. Thank you, Jesus. I yes. thank God for Paul and his teachings and his writings. But a lot of us Christians are so guilty, we can tell you everything Paul said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we can't tell you enough of what thus That's said the Lord. Lord. We can't tell you enough of verily, verily, I, the word of God, says yeah. to you. Glory to God. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. 
We can tell you about the little history. We can tell you about all the little Psalms of David. That's right. And then when it comes to what thus said the Lord, we struggling and we trying to figure out, under the, oh, well, did God say that? But I, did, did, I think Jesus said such and such. Hmm. We got to pay more attention to the word of God that became flesh and what the word of God spoke while he was here. Yes. And what the prophet said, thus said the Lord. 